layer. And so, first of all, I just have to pick a point, any point. I suggest you guys start with the tip of the nose. Um, and I'm guessing that the tip of the nose is right here. And so this dot that I put here doesn't need to be that big. It can just be a point. Um, this is where I'm going to find all of those other dots. And you should probably not pick the one right next to it. Uh, so this is called triangulation. I don't know if I said it. Um, trying, so you, you find, from finding two dots, you'll find the third, and that's why they call it triangulation. <coughs> so the first dot I've decided to pick is her nose. And then, so like, if I want to go to, let's go to her chin, I hold my pencil up, and I put it right through the dot that's on her nose, and put it right through her chin, and I keep my wrist locked and my arms straight, and I don't pivot anything but my shoulder. And I come over here, and I'm like, that's where that dot is. And so if I wanted to find where uh, that dot that I put on the left side of her cheek, I can pick either of these dots. I'll start with her nose. And I go over to the cheek dot, keep my wrist locked, and I put a dot there. And then to check if I'm accurate, I go back to this dot, to the cheek, and I come down, and I have found that I have found all of that. And so, like, you just keep building up. So now you know that from the dot, on her chin to the jaw, dot on her jaw, you find where you would draw. Well, you can hold up your, you can hold up your pencil, and see what angle that is her jaw bone is turning. So it's about there, but it turns somewhere, you know. In here, it's like flat-ish. And so, but anyway, you just keep building on that. And so, from this dot, it comes out about I don't know that far, and it comes down. But now you're like, oh, where the fuck is that dot? Let's find that. And so you go back to something that you know is right. We know that all these are right. I'm gonna go back to the tip of the nose. And I come down, and right about there is that dot. And so, and then if I wanted to go all the way over to like the corner of her hair on the other side, Um, sometimes it's hard to put the dot down because you have to bend your wrist a little. Um, you can you can eyeball it as long as you just check it again. Make sure that angle's right. And so I don't know if I've gone far enough though. So I know I, I know that this angle is correct. I don't know if I've gone far enough. And so to see if I've gone far enough, I'm gonna go back to the the dot on the nose and find the dot, corner of her bangs, and so I was almost there, right about there. And so once you have all of these plot out, and once you have all of these plotted, and you can check all of them off anything. So if I, and you you're, you can always see where you fucked up. So like, I went from here to here to here to here, and I haven't related this dot and this dot yet. So to see if all of this was accurate. I'm going to take this one and see if it matches with that. And that's just about accurate. Um, I encourage you guys to plot these and then draw faint lines through them. Just so if you have to go back to it, you can see that angle easily. And so once you have all of these plotted, um, I mean, you can make them up too, so if you don't see a dot that's up there, like you want to find... Uh, oh shit. Uh, I plotted it. See, I, I made this way too easy for you guys. So if I wanted to find... Quit saying that, because I'm not recording. <laughs> 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 Terrible at it. So, no, well this is... 
I wish I had this in school. Um, so if I wanted to find the left wing of her nostril, the wing, the wing tip on the left side of her nose, um, I'm gonna go from the chin and put my pencil to the wing that's out there. Come back to the chin. And so this, and you can put your plot line wherever, and then you'll correct it when you go back to another point. So I'm gonna go back to this one. It's right about there. And so, wait a minute, let me go. Okay, so I came up to that one. Oh yeah, that's where you draw a line. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw this line here. I know that it's somewhere along this axis. Um, from my first point of reference. And now that I have that line in there, I'm gonna see where it fits on that line. And you can use your erasers this time to get rid of dots that shouldn't be there. And so now I'm gonna go back to this dot and see where along this axis, angle from the chin, see where that sits there. And I'd say it's right about there. And so that's where the wing of her nose would be ish, though. I don't know. See, I fucked up somewhere because I know that according to where my first dot was, it should be there. But it's all just refining over and over and over and over. So what you, you'd want to erase that dot, and you'd want to erase that dot. Um, but like once you have everything plotted, and it doesn't matter if you want to draw things in in the meantime. Um, once you have everything plotted, it's just like connect the dots with your, try to connect the dots with your modified contour skills that you've learned. So, uh, if I go to, let's say, let's say this dot is the corner of that eye, or the corner of her right eye, and this dot is the other corner. Um, Put in some modified contour here and make sure that you end up at that other dot. And it doesn't it doesn't need to be perfect because you can always just go back and go over it and over it. And so from that dot I can find that dot. That dot. So I found the there, and then down to that dot, make sure I am in the right spot, about correct, and then I just continue back, and then I can find, I go back to this dot, oh, about how far is it between this dot and the eye? Lid. See, I may have gone a little too shallow on the eyelid, so I'm gonna bring it out a little more. Um, do you guys feel like you can grasp this? Does that all make sense? <laughs> this is really fucking hard. It does, it's not easy, and it's going to hurt. Um, but as soon as you, as soon as you learn how to know, definitely three points are fucking accurate. You can take any other point that you think is there, you can measure it from this one, that one, and that one, just to make sure you've got it correct. And if I were you, I would start with the nose, work everything in the face, and then find the chin and collar, neck, or whatever. Um, any questions? No. You guys excited? Awesome. Yes. I taught this to Sam before and it blew his fucking mind. Look at his life now. <laughs> <laughs> Sam actually learned really uh, fast and I was blown.